Hustlers is proudly brought to you by Namdep Diamond Corporation. Good today, better tomorrow. Internet FM, if you just joined us, you've joined us at the most opportune time because it is my absolute pleasure to introduce to you Dabewa Kadikwa. She is a respectable entrepreneur. She's a philanthropist. She's a public speaker. She's an investor. She's a mentor. She's an advisor. And through just sheer hard work and determination, she has risen to become a sought-after entrepreneurial speaker in Namibia, within even the Sadek region, on the continent, and darling, globally as well. And she has shared lessons, opinions, and secrets that she has learned over the years, ranging from setting up and managing various types of businesses. And I, I love her purpose statement. It reads, I intend to inspire and empower entrepreneurs and SMEs in Africa to manage themselves and their businesses successfully, not just in jail for just that, mm -mm, mm -mm, successfully. And I'm very excited to welcome her this morning to 99FM's Royal Hustlers. Good morning, Tapewa. Good morning, my lady. I am so in love with your energy. I'm like, who is she talking about? <laughs> I can only be talking about you. There's no one else. Oh, good morning. Good morning to our listeners. I can't say your listeners with what's a part of them. Of course. So good morning to our listeners. Good morning, Namibia. May the grace of God shine upon you in these very difficult times. Amen and amen. And like, you know, when we hear about women such as yourselves, uh, we just look at the success. But it all starts somewhere. Tell us a bit about yourself and your background. How much time do we have, darling? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kwanyama, first of all. So my background alone needs two hours. <laughs> so just briefly, I'm just a normal lady. I'm a girl that was born in Kamienta. In Dertin. Um, I'm currently 41 years of age. I've been married for almost 20 years to the same man. I'm a mother of six. Um, I, I, I am a lover of life. I have a huge passion for transformation. And I think entrepreneurship is a vehicle that can bring about positive change. I am passionate about Karitura. I want it to be a different personality it must rise up and then i believe that our destinies are bigger than our circumstances oh definitely definitely now growing up in in Chamiente, what was your biggest dream at that time mm -mm. somebody asked me that on clubhouse last night and my story is not like that i didn't have this big dream etc what i remember for sure is i wanted to see change and I think when I was 18, 19, when I started my first business, I came across, because I love information, I love reading, and I, was, I came across this quote by Mahatma Gandhi. And the quote says, be the change you want to become. Be the change you want to see in the world. That resonated with me because it gave me an opportunity to be a partaker of what I want to see. So I really became very intentional, very young. I was very resourceful and I was very passionate. But obviously growing up, I mean, where I am now, I can also tell you that being resourceful, being passionate, it's not enough. You need knowledge. Only knowledge will elevate you and it will empower you to go to the next level. So life is about leadership, self-leadership, leading your business, your family, etc. But leadership is about moving from A to B where B is a better place. I love that. Now, being an entrepreneur, a, a lot of times means you have so many balls to juggle and you have side hustles here, there, and everywhere else. Uh, as you were on this journey, did you find yourself having multiple side hustles? Okay. I guess now it's called side hustles. Uh, at our time, it wasn't called side hustles. I actually think that the, the word hustle despite its, its intention right now, it defeats a bigger purpose, you know? Because if you're going to be a great baker, but you're looking at it as just like a Zula, you know what I'm saying? You deny yourself an opportunity to build a very successful bakery. So yes, for me, I've hustled um, most of my life, but I chose to, do you understand? The businesses I'm doing now, 
are not the ones that I started out with 20 years ago. The journey of growth for anybody, especially as an entrepreneur, you are knocking your way into your final uh, formula, so to say. So I've started and closed about, what, 11 (laughs) hustles. But to me, really, they were just businesses. But when it's no longer feasible, I fold it up, I sleep, I forgive myself, I continue. And on that note, we're going to just take a little bit of a break. I'm going to go to a musical interval and we'll be right back because I have so much to learn from you and to hear from you. All right, my lady. with Tapewa Kadikwa, formidable entrepreneur, and two things uh, that stood out for me as I was talking to her. One, be the change that you want to see. That's, uh, that's, that's the quote that, uh, that really inspires her from um, uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Secondly, she spoke about her journey, 11 businesses. And when it's time to shut it down, you shut it down. She sleeps and she says she forgives herself. And I know as entrepreneurs, we tend to beat ourselves so, so much. But when it has reached its expiry date now, now, what must happen now? Eh? We, we must move. We must move. Of who? <laughs> Look, I'm speaking to you as um, somebody who has just a bit more experience than you. And wisdom. Okay. Um, as I speak, my son, Tiro, he's seven years old, he's lying on me, and he's squeezing himself on me so that he can get some love. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Anyway, let's continue. So, the entrepreneur, you, are the pioneer of this enterprise. Because of the structure of our educational system and our community, you were not prepared to be an entrepreneur. In fact, you just stumbled upon it. You were taught to write a CV and look for a job. You were taught uh, if you get a job, it's eight to five and you honor your job description, etc. The reason why we are accelerating this hustle and this entrepreneurship now is because any economy that does not produce entrepreneurs cannot produce jobs. Jobs are created and the people that create those jobs are entrepreneurs. That is why Namibia is particularly difficult, but it's not unique. It's not a a new phenomenon. It is normal to accelerate entrepreneurship. Now, because of the passion, now, the biggest sector that uh, lead entrepreneurs to start up. Many of them don't start at logic. Logic is like there's an opportunity to make bicycles. I will investigate. I will do a feasibility, and I'm going to invest in a bicycle factory. That's logic. You don't need to be passionate about bicycles. It's common sense. The statistics indicate to you that there's an opportunity here. But we start enterprises from passion, and there's the danger because passion is like fire. It can burn you if you don't manage it. And that is where the disappointments come from, the depression comes from, the frustration comes from. And in in my book, there's a chapter that I speak about, you become busy and broke. Now that right there is something we need to just unpack all together. I think I need a podcast with you, but not to keep you too long, seeing as the munchkin really needs you. Can you just mention some of the ways in which you've had to just switch up the way that you do business during this uh, current pandemic? Okay, so for me, I made it, look, I'm a career entrepreneur. At this, where I am now, I have no intention to go and do something else. My intention is to accelerate the platforms I've built now with my team, provide strategic leadership, and pay off all the debt and become financially free. 
That is why I even started this money series thing, so I can share my experience with others. So because of that, you know, when you're doing your business, you also have to do it from a conviction. Am I doing it while something else is coming on the way? Or am I going to and jump onto this thing and give it my best shot? Do you understand? So if, if, if it's a career, for me, it's a career. It's a vocation. It is my calling. It is my talent. It's my calling. It's my purpose. It's my vocation. I take it as seriously as you take working at Namdeb. No, definitely. Speaking of jumping in, can you just uh, finally share with us some advice for, for entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs out there who are just so scared to just take that leap of faith and start their business? There's the, big, no, there's the starting point. I'm going to bring in a biblical quote here from the book of Joshua. Joshua had to make up his mind. He said, I see what's going on, but as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. Unfortunately, this is a decision you need to make. Once you decide, which are this business, I'm no longer going to jigger my jigger with it. I'm going to give it my all. Things start happening in your mind. You, you, the seriousness you commit, even the favor of God shows up to assist you. But once you are on, tomorrow you are off, and then you see your friend doing something else, and then you are off. It's difficult for that fire. It's like burning a fire, my sister. And then you are somewhere making another fire in Okudangava. This wood, who will bring it together for the fire to flame up? Unfortunately, this is a decision you will have to make. Once you make it, you will start looking for literature to support you. You will start looking for a mentor to support you. Your networking will change. You will start sleeping differently. You will start waking up differently. You will start showing up differently. Because now it's no longer a, a side thing. It is a commitment. And you can now also start seeing fruit. Sometimes we are not seeing fruit because we're just not committed. And if you're emotional, it's not enough. Emotions need knowledge. Emotion need training. You need to be trained in methods of entrepreneurship. You can't just say, I want to be a good doctor, and you've never gone to medicine school. You've never watched a video about medicine. You've never tried an error. How are you going to, uh, um, what is it, uh, treat patients without basic knowledge? Entrepreneurship is a vocation. It is a training that you need because when you are equipped, when you are trained, when you are educated, when you are knowledgeable about money, about law, about marketing, about people management, about leadership, you will navigate that ship better because the waves will come. The challenges are in a queue waiting for you. And if you are equipped, naturally you can sell better. But if you're not equipped, you will drown. Thank you so much, Tabera, for coming in and not only sharing your wisdom, but sharing yourself and your time. It's my pleasure. You're part of the. You're definitely part of the family now. So uh, I will be knocking, knocking on this line. Yeah. So what we are doing now with the money series, if I may just close up with that, the money series is to discuss the non-tangible things of money. I want you guys to follow me on Instagram at and we do an Instagram live every Monday. And that is just to discuss things like mindset, mentality, motives, the mandate, the making, the multiplication. If you don't have the non-tangible things of money, every dollar that comes your way we must make a change because it can be coming on the wrong mindset. On my YouTube channel, there's videos that educate in these areas because especially in the black community, we think there's a, a whole um, plan against us. No, my money is not enough. I need a bigger deal. I need a bigger tender. I need a more money. I don't know the right people. It's not so. 
if you if you receive those things on the wrong foundation, they will not make a change in your life. Well, thank you so much. We'll definitely will be um, checking those out just to to really enhance and have knowledge about what we're getting into. So highly appreciated. Unfortunately, we're now out of time. Shalom and blessed day. So you heard that was uh, Tapewa Kadikwa. She is a respectable entrepreneur, philanthropist, public speaker, investor, mentor, and advisor. And check out more of her wisdom on her Instagram page. She was telling you that's Tapewa Kadikwa. Also on her YouTube channel, Tapewa Kadikwa.